Hello guys, this is Dennis the Bike Mechanic and in this video I will speak about Magnum Metro 750. In my opinion this is one of the best bikes for the city that you can find and here's why. So, from the very beginning this bike has a stunning 21 amp power battery and 48 volts look at it the battery is huge it does not entirely fit into the frame so they put additional numbers of cells here so it's slightly extending here that's a massive 21 amp power battery that is the biggest battery that you can fit into this frame that's number one point number two this motor uh, nominal wattage here is 750 watts this is a fairly new technology because before motors and you still can see them this motor is relatively big in diameter and narrow this is uh, like the classical view of a 750 watts motor so it is smaller and thicker and normally you would see 750 watts only on a fat bikes because this that width of the motor will not allow you to mount it in a narrow, narrow frame like here um, this bike has 26 inch wheels balloon tires two and a half inches I like those tires those are soft enough and uh, as you may know the bigger the the bigger the width of the tire the more rolling resistance it will generate plus the second point you will have on these tires you will have a less chance to get a flat because of surface again the surface is smaller therefore less chance to roll over some debris nice front fork it is um, that's the lockout and here is the spring now look at the wire harness look at that isn't it nice so here's one big um, junction and you see here this cable is that's the brake that's the brake that's the second brake throttle and a display everything is clear by the way this bike is definitely not a competitor to magnum but anyway i would like to point out uh the messy wiring harness here so all the cables this 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 that's so that's the brake that's the throttle that's another brake and that's the cable to the display each cable individually goes inside right here then they're going into the controller so in case if you need to change one wire in this case what I would do for instance changing throttle I would simply cut the cable here and uh, solder another um, throttle to this place I'm speaking about Magnum if you need to change throttle simply where is it that's the throttle so simply unplug it take throttle out put in you plug it in done as I rode on the bike, I can see that these numbers can go up to over a thousand watts. So nominal 750, maximum that I've seen here is worth uh, 1050 watts. It has an option for the front light. To be honest, the, the, the front light is kind of humble. Uh, it will not... It will help you, but don't expect too much from this light. I would definitely add here a blinker on the handlebar. Speaking about the taillight, 
it is it is acceptable it is good also when you pressing on the brake it starts blinking and uh, when the light is off when you press the brake it starts blinking as well seven speed twist shifter totally fine oh look at that isn't it nice okay i won't i will not open it but this type of connector is definitely advanced versus uh regular befang like this one like this one okay let's go for a ride so here we are ready to go ready to roll now coming closer to the display it has eco tour sport turbo boost and the six mode is the boost that is blinking so that's the maximum power if you're using just a throttle it will provide you maximum 20 miles an hour however if you're using pedal assist in this case the bike will give you 28 miles an hour which is nice which is sufficient okay let's have a ride its off-road capabilities everything is frozen right now so I won't pick too much dirt on the bike since this bike is not designed for off-road I cannot challenge it as I would challenge a full suspension mountain e-bike therefore I would take it to some uh, roads where you would go for a dog or something like that Okay, overall, what can I say? I definitely like this bike because look at me, I'm all that's a thick jacket that gives a huge air resistance, helmet, jeans, boots. So, nevertheless, the bike was able to provide 28 miles an hour on a pedal assist. The only thing that I would change on this bike is this crankset because at a speed of 28 miles an hour to give any sufficient human power to this bike you'd have to spin pedals way too fast 
So I will change this chain ring to a bigger one to be able to give 28 plus miles an hour. And uh, definitely like this bike. It is okay for the trails. Don't expect from it like a downhill downhill mountain bike expectations because it is not designed it is not the purpose of this bike this is a classical I would say typical bike for the city also please um, I found very convenient a uh, step through much easier to mount and dismount small suspension seat seat post so overall very good love this bike thanks for watching that was dennis the bike mechanic bye bye